Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Great Yarmouth to go and check out another best rated hotel. Behind me is the Imperial Hotel, which has been owned by the same family apparently since the 1930s. It's quite a popular hotel in Great Yarmouth. Let's check out what some of the reviews are saying. A truly special hotel. Excellent, great stay in Great Yarmouth. Second time just as good as the first. Outstanding food quality, very clean hotel and nicely located. I've booked a double room for the night and also I'm gonna check out the food too. And I believe it does come with breakfast, come on. So you will find most of the hotels in Great Yarmouth along the seafront uh, down there towards North Drive and obviously the main seafront. It's got a pretty nice restaurant as well called Cafe Crew at the front. I've been in there and had some food before, but the terrace looks like a nice place to go for afternoon tea. Show this. Hiya. Uh, checking in, please. Mm -hmm. Wow, just look at that oil painting. It's that Great Yarmouth, isn't it? Wow, that's amazing. Okay, thank you. Thought I'd go up the stairs, be a bit different. Still quite retro in some parts of the hotel. Look at that. Okay, so this hotel is very old and so are the lifts. You have to open the first door and then the second door. The problem is, if someone's left it open up or down stairs, you can't use the lift. So I have to make sure that the outside door is shut first. And then shut that. You actually see the lift moving up. Floor three. So yeah, you have to be pretty mindful about the next person going in the lift and making sure that both doors are shut. So I have booked a sea view room, 234 we're in. Love all these old photos. I think that's, that's Galston, isn't it? Love this one of Britannia Pier. Crazy to think that back in the day when they used to advertise the circus, they had elephants walking down Great Yama Seafront. It's crazy. All right, here's my room, number 234. Whoa, first thing that hits me is the heat. That is pretty warm. Wow, look at this. Now it is quite a cold day and I can tell there's heat coming out of there. Is there air conditioning here? 22 degrees, I'm just gonna turn that off because that is way too warm in here at the minute. So the sun's going down, but I do have a sea view, which I think you can see. The sun rises over there, so um, hopefully if it's a clear morning, we should get an excellent sunrise. So let's check out this sea view room. Double bed. I'll do the bed test in a minute. My, my little boy is staying here again, and I think he might like the wallpaper. Almost looks kind of child friendly. I'm loving all the lighthouses on here. So somewhere to put my luggage. Down here, tea and coffee. Got a kettle. Nice. Pull this tray out for a second and just uh, have a look at this. I love how this is laid out, look. Biscuits on the top, I love that. Look at the cups, Imperial Hotel Great Yarmouth. I'm sure you can probably buy these. Isn't that really good? That's where all the tea and the coffee is. It's got some hot chocolate and it even comes with a little teapot that looks a bit dirty to be honest. So I've got a little workstation over here, nice leather chair and some drawers, the trusty hairdryer. Holiday souvenir, if you like our mugs, you'll be happy to note that they're available to buy in reception. There you go. And also tea towels, dog bowls and other souvenirs because this is a dog friendly hotel. People always ask me if I can actually point that out when I do a hotel review. Love these curtains though, look at that. Got a huge, huge TV on the wall. Nice long length mirror. Let's switch on some side lights to make it feel a bit more cozier. That's a pretty old school phone. Some hotels I've been in, they've got a phone, but you just don't know what number to press reception. I normally assume it's zero. Nice little notepad on brand and a pen. And notice by the bed, there's a little orange glass 
either side no doubt for water but i'm loving the bed again look at the theming of the the sailboats on the bed that's nice okay let's do the bed test obviously two beds pushed together isn't it that is really comfy and what's really nice is the windows are pretty level with when you're laying in bed you can see directly out to sea you don't have to look up or stretch out you can comfortably just lay here and look out to sea and see the ships going by that's pretty good and the wardrobe loads of hanging space we've got some extra pillows an ironing board and something i haven't seen in a lot of hotels and people have always said how come there's no safes in there this one does come with a huge safe let's check out the bathroom wow i just noticed actually how narrow i don't know if the camera picks up how narrow that bathroom door is oh so this is a wet room nice big hot towel rail so they've got a hairdryer but they've also got one of these never a big fan of one of these and Gabby will tell you they don't do your hair very well Ooh, looks like a hoover stuck to the wall huge big sink with some soap a fully walk-in rainfall shower look at that good to see how nice and clean that is when you're paying for a four-star hotel and to do your other bits and then there's obviously a shampoo and conditioner that's actually nice and big there's some more over there love this though this is nice it does feel a bit more luxury i've got breakfast here so we'll check out breakfast in the morning but before we do that i'm going to check out briefly the rest of the hotel it's not overly that big and also go and get some dinner love these grand old hotels so this is where breakfast is in the morning and the terrace is just beyond it. But I'm gonna meet someone special for a pre-dinner drink, who should be through here. There's a bar in here on the left as well. Yeah. And who's this rather attractive woman that I've just no, in fancy this hotel? Seeing you here. You look lovely. Do I? Don't yeah. That's a really nice thing to say. So I thought being in a four-star hotel, I'll treat myself to a little bit of luxury. I paid for two fifteen pounds. A bottle was something like twenty pounds. I love these little placemats though. Almost like little beer mats. They're padded. So tonight's dinner is downstairs in the restaurant that is known as Cafe Crew. We've been there before actually, it was our favourite restaurant in Great Yarmouth, it's actually really nice. Yeah, I like it there. Before we do that, of course, having a, a, a few pre-drinks. Cheers. So going down to dinner. So we do love the hotel. We understand it's old, but the only problem is getting down these stairs. I'm even have to help you. Look at Bob's putting his hand out to the barrier. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the music over that one. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's super busy in here tonight. What are we going to have then, Gabby? Are you going to have a starter? Wow, they've got mussels. We've gone for mussels. Huge in this really nice little black container with a little bit of bread on the sides. And as soon as you lift it, the smell hits you. Wow. That is so garlicky. And obviously, bear in mind, I can't have the cream sauce that comes with it, so it's a wine sauce. When I'm um, on my own and I'm not being filmed, I shoot my fingers, but I'm being um, respectable here. Sometimes you get a little bit of like a seaweed look inside a mussel, and if it's there, I pull it out. But So you can't just eat them as is? Um, you probably can, but I make sure that's gone for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes amazing so dinner's arrived so i've gone for the beef gabby has gone for what have you gone for gabby has gone for the pheasant yes there's a really good flavour in that. Right, first of all, let's try the meat. Pretty pink. Very chewy. Let's try this um, this bomb bomb. Lovely flavour though. Just like a black pudding bomb bomb. I've got to not think about what's in it, but it does taste good. Mm, really good. So, a really nice meal. Um, I've decided to have dessert in the room. 
I know, quite a nice option. Um, and we'll see you for breakfast in the morning. All right. Morning to a great view. The only thing I've noticed about these windows, which is a little bit of a shame, is literally right in my eye line anyway, I, I see that. So I have to kind of stand up or bend down a little bit. But the thing about these windows is that you don't get many windows where they open up this wide on a hotel. It's nice letting the breeze in. Loving the view though, down to the waterways and up the other end of the seafront, you can see Britannia Pier. Morning. Yeah, this is lovely. Yeah. yeah. Great. So breakfast, kind of outside on the terrace. Nice outside, and warm though, isn't outside it? Outside in. Outside in. If it was a sunny day, you get really lovely sun coming up from there. Yeah. I love how the breakfast is localized as well. So you've got grilled Norfolk kippers, grilled Yarmouth bloater, lowest off smoked haddock as well. I don't think we're going to go for any of those. You're going to go for a normal breakfast. I just. Yeah, well, not that's not normal, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I've just got to go for like the full on shebang, you know. So the Imperial Hotel in Great Yarmouth, is it the best rated? I actually had a really nice stay. I love that it is such a grand old seaside hotel with a little bit of a modern twist. Yeah, I particularly love the fact that it had got that character still you know a lot of these hotels have got this modern touch but when you walk in there it still feels really vintage and I really like that it looks like they have updated their rooms which is quite nice I really love the seaside theme as you do know I love the seaside and the seaside theme at a hotel it kind of just goes together perfectly so let's talk about the room obviously it was two beds pushed together there was a little bit of a join in the middle but to be honest because the bed was so big we didn't, we, really didn't really <laughs> we didn't really notice that. <laughs> Obviously being an old hotel, I think the water took a little while to get hot, didn't it? I think a we did bit, notice yeah. that. Uh, the meal last night was absolutely lovely. Oh, it's fantastic. We do actually like going into that restaurant. We normally go there on my birthday, sad as it sounds. <laughs> Only special occasions. Only special occasions because it is quite expensive. I love the lift. It was so old fashioned and it did feel like you was uh, yeah. stepping back in time. It was very tight at times, but like tight, Tim times. said, it had that something. And there was, there was <laughs> that moment actually when I came down to reception, there was quite a little bit of a, a lip to go down, almost like a step. Okay, so I've just used the lift to take Casper down. And, um, well, if I look closely, there's quite a gap. Like, there's quite a step down to where the lift is. A bit of a step down there. Whoa. Hang on. Hang on. But apparently we, we were speaking to the staff there and they were just saying that they've um, just upgraded the lift. You've got a room at the front that overlooks the sea. The view is absolutely fantastic. Breakfast this morning was lovely and uh, the staff couldn't do enough for us. Amazing. Obviously they didn't know we were coming um, and this video isn't sponsored by the Imperial Hotel. And compared to a lot of hotels, I like the fact that the parking on the seafront was free. We didn't have to pay for oh, that. big thumbs up for that. So thanks for watching the video. Do give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've stayed in Great Yarmouth and what your favourite hotel is. And if you do like Great Yarmouth, why not check out the other side of Great Yarmouth? The video is on the screen now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.